Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Perfect Finish by The Wig Company in color 60. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Today I am wearing Perfect Finish from The Wig Company in color number 60, and this is a white little wig. Now let me turn around, let me let you see her all the way around. I wanted to go ahead and have this wig on when I started reviewing her, rather than unboxing her, simply because um, my hair was a hot mess today, and I didn't want to put on another wig and then put this wig on too. So I decided, well, I'll just come on here with the with the wig, and I'm going to be doing the next few reviews I do. I'm going to be doing like that, doing that like that, rather than doing an unboxing. So I hope that's okay. Okay, so let me turn around and let you see the wig all the way around. Here she is. She's a feisty little number. She's got a little bit of a flip going on here in the back. And what I like is you can smooth her down. You can take your fingers and you can smooth her down if you want to. Or you can poof her up. Now, y'all know me. I like poofy, big, poofy hair. And I really, really like this. Now, the lady in the ad. Now, you, I want y'all to know right here. Um, this is some of my hair that I have pulled out right here around the hairline. My hair is darker than this, but I actually did that to give it like a little bit of a rooted look right here around uh, my hairline. So just so you know, that does not come like that. That is my, that is actually my biological hair right there pulled out a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension right here around my face. Now the lady in the, uh, the picture, the model, has it styled back off her face right like that and has this styled kind of forward. Now you can certainly do that because this is an invisible lace front. Let me get in here so y'all can see the lace front. This is a hand-tied monofilament lace front. Now, right here, you can see you can see my dark hair showing through, so you might want to cover that up. If you don't have any hair right here, you certainly don't have to do that, but I just want to see what that would look like. So, that's, that's what I've done. So, you can bring that forward if you like. This is a probably, this would fit an average, an average size head. Um, I don't know if it would fit a large, to be honest, because this wig is not extremely large. This wig is actually pretty... Uh, pretty much true to being an average wig size. I have a small head. It fits me pretty good right in here. I don't have a lot of helmet head, you know, poofing up right here with extra room. Got a little extra room, but not much. Actually, it fits pretty well. It's a little, the circumference is a little bit bigger than um, some of my other wigs, but it fits fine. So, um, so here it is. Now, let's look at the specs on this little number, and let's just see. I can't keep from playing with it. I love that little flip in the back. I think that's just so cute. I wanted to review a white wig because I know you all, some of you all really, really like white or platinum type of wigs. And I love this. I think this is just a beautiful color. Get in here close so you all can see. And there it is. See, there's my biological hair. I am gray, but I'm gray. I'm not, I'm not white. So I pull that out right there so it would look a little bit more blended right there at my hairline. So I can, you can always, if you like, you can, you know, of course, tuck that back in there where that isn't showing. So let me tuck that back on that side so you all can, can see that. So there, there we go. Now. Now, I really like this. This style, for some reason, I don't know why, this kind of reminds me of a Hollywood, type, kind of an old Hollywood type of color and style. It makes me feel like I need to start singing Happy Birthday, Mr. President, or something. I think it's, I think this wig is, is cute, and I love this color. I think this color is gorgeous. So, if you like a white wig, I think this one would be, this is a good one, I do. And you can always, if you want to kind of comb it down to where it's not quite as big, you can. Now this wig does have some permatease in it. I mean, it does, there's permatease throughout the wig. I don't mind that, that helps the wig hold its shape a little bit better. And that means I have to fool with it less, which is something that I really like if I don't have to fool with it. So let's look at the specs on this wig. Um, it says comb it smooth or fluff it up. Uh, the flexibility of control, 
for a perfect finish. Hence the name perfect finish. The head size, the head size is average. The weight is 2.0 ounces, four inches in the front, four and a half inch top, three inches on the sides, three inches in the back, and a three and a fourth inch nape. It's got an extended five eighth inch nape as well back here in the back. And I'm telling you, that really makes it lay really flat and nice back here. Now, the wig does have a pretty basic wig cap, except for the lace front. It does have the bendable ear tabs, and I think she's cute. She fits comfortably with my glasses. I've got my glasses actually over the tabs, so I usually put my put mine under my tabs, but with, this, but with my shorter wigs, I always wear it over the tabs, so that way it doesn't make my tabs poof out on the sides, so this is really... This is cute. Now, y'all tell me, which do you like the best? Do you like it better with some bangs here like this? Or do you like it better off my face? Either way, I like it either way. I think it's cute. So it's just personal preference. And I do like wigs that I can wear like this because if I'm not wanting to, um, you know, if I want to just kind of give myself a different look, then I'll do something like this sometimes just to because the lace front is so nice on this wig. Let me get in here where you all can see that really good. That lace front is really just pretty. Really nice lace front. But if you don't want that to show, just bring it, kind of bring it over to the side and do something like that. And you can, like I said, you can tone it down just a little by just running your fingers through it, smoothing it out. And you can use something like that if you want to. Now, <laughs> I'm going to go back in and mess it up. Y'all know me. I like, I like messy. I like, I like my hair to look messy. I like, I like for it to look like I woke up like this, <laughs> but I don't ever wake up like this. I always wake up looking like somebody's beat me half to death and given me two black eyes, but I do like to make it look, you know, like it's, it's really natural. So I do mess up my wigs quite a bit. So it looks, uh, I think it, I think it makes for a more natural looking wig, but you know, you can certainly do something like that and just do like half of it back and half of it not back. I love this wig. I think this wig is cute. I think it's got enough permatease. If you're like me and you're short, you want a little height, I think this wig perfectly does every bit of that. So this wig, again, is by The Wig Company. It's perfect finish, and I've got to give the wig a thumbs up. It's just cute. Let me turn around again let y'all see the back. And right now, this wig is on sale for $89, which I think is a good deal for a hand-tied um, lace, uh, monofilament lace front. I think that's a good price for that. And I would certainly pay that for this wig. I would. I think the wig is cute. I think it's, I think it's adorable. This is a thumbs up on this wig. This is a thumbs up. Now, right here, if you don't have much, let's, let's talk about this right here. Right here. Um, if I didn't have this wig grip on, that probably would not show, but I do have on that wig grip. So, and I don't mind it showing. To me, it just adds a little dimension to it. And this side, you know, I've still got pulled out. Let me put on, let me put on a um, headband. Let's see how it looks with that. I'll be right back. So here I am with my little flamingo head wrap. Y'all know how I love those flamingos. I mean, that's always my go-to. And I think that it's just cute. Now, let me turn around. I realized after I got in there and started messing with it a little bit, bit that my wig uh, grip was sticking out the back. And I don't know if you could see that or not, but I tried to fix that. I'd probably have to put another grip on with this. So let me turn around and let y'all see this. Here I am. I love this wig. I think it's cute. So if if y'all are interested in this, you can contact the wig company and they can help you hook you right up with it. Um, I'll drop a link down in the description box to their website so it'll be easy for you all to take a look. And I am not monetized to say any of that. I like the wig. Y'all know me well enough to know that I'm not gonna come on here and say I like a wig when I don't. I do like this wig. And I think if you're looking for a white wig, you need, uh, and price is a factor for you, I think $89 is a good bargain for this wig, I do. Um, I just, I like the wig. And I like the wig company too. I haven't been disappointed in their wigs. I, I truly, truly haven't. I think that they offer a great affordable option for ladies who are looking for something simple 
easy, quick. They seem to hold their shape really well when you take them out of the box. So I know my eyes today, ladies, look like I've been beat to death, but my allergies have absolutely been wearing me out this week. And my circles under my eyes are so dark. I have tried everything and it's just kind of like, ah! So, but I had to get on these videos because I'm just kind of like, y'all, <laughs> I have got, I mean, like I, like I said, I've got six wig videos that I've got to film sometime this week. This was my priority, was getting this one done because the wig company sent me this last week and this is the first chance I've had to get to get on this video. So um, I appreciate that and I'll be posting some pictures on my social media and also just messing around with it and different stuff like that so that you all can can take a look at it and listen to the review. But I do like this wig. I think it's a good value for the money. Um, I like the fact that you can put like a little John Reno piece out on it and make it piecey. I do love this wig. I think she's just cute. Listen, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Love you guys. Maranatha.